Oh, man. I used to be on top of the world, brother. All pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in 2004. Yeah, man, I beat out Dennis Quaid and Matthew McConaughey, for Christ's sake. Yeah, so I drank a few beers now and then, popped the occasional pill. That's nothing compared to what the team quacks would shoot me up with just so I could play. And yeah, sometimes I just need to numb the pain, you know what I'm saying? My biggest vice was speed. No, not meth, buddy. Adrenaline. I blew every penny I had on the fastest cars I could find. Just so you know, I'm a damn good driver. If that asshole I was street racing hadn't sideswiped me, I never would have crashed. And that, uh, that poor girl would still be alive. That's right. That's right. It's his goddamn fault I shattered my leg in six goddamn places. So I had a few drinks in me. So what the fuck? I drive drunk better than I do sober anyway. Of course, complaint were shit after that. After I got out of jail, I canned my ass that I violated the morals clause on my goddamn contract. Ended up playing semi-pro in fucking Canada. <sighs> but I'm still a name. Oh yeah, I'm still a celebrity. That's why they wanted me to promote their blood drive here. That's why they fucking flew me first class halfway around the goddamn world. Because my name still means something. Logan Carter. Is no goddamn douchebag. Got here. Emergency broadcast system. Please leave your apartment immediately. Follow signs to the next staircase. For safety reasons, this is Hotel Emergency Broadcast System. Please leave your apartment immediately. Follow signs to the nearest staircase. For safety reasons, all elevators are offline. Please remain calm and follow the instructions of the hotel.
Something good in here? through the camera. Feeling all right, mate? The shakes? Fever? Chills? Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we got to get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're gonna have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. Got here. I'm doing it. No! Did not bloody tell you? Move. No, stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. Oh man, I should have left with the others. Fuck, I should have stuck with James. Yeah, everybody was leaving, but not me. Those things came for us and Cinemoy went out to kill them alone. 
There's nothing to fucking do! Help him! He's dead! What if he's alive? Look, there's no way in hell he's still breathing. You don't hear him out there? Why no. won't anyone help him? You can't just let him die out there! He saved your life. You owe him your life. You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way. Do you at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Help him! All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, Fuck it! Three! the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. Just touch and go with you for a while. No thanks to you. I didn't see you out there. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it, but then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, no to but we you. can't do this without you. Will you help me? Yes. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. This is the end of days. Judgment Day. It's in the Book of Revelations. <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinnamoy. Oh, yeah, everybody was leaving, but not... <sighs> Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? You got it. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Cause, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I gonna go?
and the dead arose and climbed from their graves. You killed Thank God we found you. Can't hurt to look. Do you believe this shit? Jesus Christ, if you hadn't come along. You, you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the water sports rental kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. got here. Thank you. 
it for Christ's sake! Open this puppy up. Shit! Ah! 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 Ah!
What the hell? This is some fucked up shit. What is wrong with you?
it's so bloody bright. Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. I was chased in here by a mob of bloody maniacs. I was able to lock them out, but I had to kill the bloody bartender. The crazy git was trying to bite me. Didn't have nothing to eat, but I had a hell of a lot to drink. But now I'm all out and hung over as hell and need a bit of the hair of the dog that bit me, huh? Think you can find me some more booze? I'll make it worth your while. Sure. Good. I'll wait here, if you don't mind. I'm not really up to moving around. Somebody's having a bad day. Oh, God. Oh, God. My wife. My, my dad. Oh, fuck. My own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice! Roger Howard, on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear-cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will Get stop better this. to protect their criminal enterprise. As a precaution, I will be leaving a trail of recordings wherever I go so that if something were to happen to me, the truth would still be told. I'm leaving now to meet with an informant who I believe ripped the lid off of this investigation.
Something good in here? Man, this hell looks just like paradise. Don't know how it is you're immune to this, but we've got to take advantage of that. You did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Yes. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you.